Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. In this video, we will learn the dropout layer in PyTorch. So what is dropout in general? Dropout is a regularization method where randomly selected neurons are dropped from the neural network to avoid overfitting. And this is done with the help of a dropout layer that manages the neurons to be dropped off by selecting a frequency pattern. Once a model is entered into an evaluation mode, the dropout layer is shut down and training of the dataset will be started. So let's look at this uh, image. Uh, we drop out the training process essentially drops out neurons. Uh, from the neural network as we can see that uh, some of these neuron these uh, mark as cross they are dropped off note that the connections or synapses are removed as well and hence no data flows through these neurons anymore in the network but when neurons are dropped they are not dropped permanently instead at every epoch the network randomly selects neuron that are dropped only for this time and neurons that had been dropped earlier can be reactivated again during the future iterations. Now with some quick code, let's see the effect of dropout on training mode and evaluation mode. So my dropout uh, has been defined to be 0.5. That's kind of the mostly used default value of dropout. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to define a layer. That would be torch.nn.dropout. To that, I will pass that variable dropout and then see if my layer.training uh, prints, so whatever it prints. It should print true, yes, and I got true. That means I am in the training mode and now I will define uh, input data, some fake input data. Let's do that with torch.once. That will create a matrix of ones of three rows and five columns. Print input. All right, I got a three rows and five columns of tensor. And now I'll do layer input. All right, see, my initial matrix was all one. And now after the first, uh, first forward movement, I got uh, two, two of them. And some, some of the neurons are now zero because they have been dropped and um, uh, so that's how it works and why i got true because uh, to make up for these dropping out of some neurons it will the others should be multiplied by a constant and this constant for this case will be one by one minus the dropout value which for this case is two let's do another forward pass by running this uh, layer input code all right now even few more neurons were dropped and with each forward press approximately 50 percent will be dropped and 50 percent neurons would be dropped because i have chosen my dropout to be 0 0.5 now uh, let's uh, change the mode to eval mode that is evaluation mode layer dot eval run this cell uh, all right dropout 0.5 in place false now let's check what uh, if it is in if the training mode has indeed been shut down layer dot t r a i n and that printed false remember previously it was printing true when i was doing layer dot training here i printed true so now my training mode has been uh, sh shut down and i'm in the evaluation mode and now check the dropout effect so i again do layer input And I got my original matrix all once. Um, that was my original matrix here. So let's do another forward pass under the evaluation mode. Layer input. I got again one. Let's do another time. Layer input. And the same result. That is now there is no dropout because dropout has been shut down under the evaluation mode. And we can see that in the evaluation mode, the dropout layer behaves exactly like identity mapping. And that pretty much wraps up this video. And over the coming days, I will do many such videos on common techniques and tips of PyTorch while doing deep learning projects. So do subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.